Hello and welcome back to The Daily Eco. In today's video, we're getting into the world of spirulina and exploring its potential health benefits. Properties of spirulina. Spirulina's potential health benefits stem from its rich nutrient profile. Packed with high quality, complete proteins and essential minerals like iron, zinc and magnesium, it provides a solid foundation for overall health. Additionally, spirulina boasts beneficial fatty acids and powerful antioxidants like vitamin C, vitamin E, which fight free radicals. These components contribute to spirulina's diverse properties. Is considered nutritious, antioxidant, antibacterial, antiviral, and anti-inflammatory. There is even potential for anti-tumor and anti-allergic benefits, although more research is needed. While ongoing research explores the full extent of its benefits, spirulina certainly shows promise as a source of potential health support. Let's take a closer look. Fight viruses. Early research suggests spirulina might fight viruses. Specific component calcium spirulin shows promise against certain viruses like herpes, influenza, among others. It might also prevent viruses from entering cells and hinder the replication. However, studies are still ongoing. Protects cells from damage. Due to its antioxidant properties, spirulina might help reduce cell damage caused by free radicals. Free radicals are unstable molecules that can damage cells and contribute to various health problems. May reduce cancer risk. Some studies suggest spirulina may reduce liver cancer risk and even shrink precancerous mouth lesions. However, more research is needed to confirm these findings and understand the mechanisms behind these potential benefits. Reduces allergy symptoms. Studies have shown spirulina can significantly improve allergic rhinitis symptoms such as sneezing, congestion, and itching. May improve cholesterol levels. The presence of a protein called glycosinin C might contribute to regulating total cholesterol levels. It's important to note that spirulina isn't a weight loss solution, but it might play a role in improving lipid metabolism, which can be a factor in weight management. But before we continue, let's put you to a test. Spirulina is a dietary supplement generated from A. Brewer's yeast, B. Ginger roots, C. Cyanobacteria, D. Chaya seeds. Think about it carefully because at the end of the video you can check if you were right. If you like The Daily Eco, remember that you can help us continue creating content like this with a super thanks. How to take spirulina. Spirulina comes in various forms including powders, flakes, tablets, capsules and even liquids. This versatility allows you to incorporate it directly into your routine or use it creatively in recipes. While research on spirulina's effectiveness for specific health conditions is ongoing, typical daily intake in studies ranges from 1 to 5 grams. Additionally, consulting a healthcare professional before using spirulina for therapeutic purposes is crucial, especially if you have any underlying health conditions. Contraindications Even though the Food and Drug Administration considers spirulina generally safe, it may interact with certain medications. People with phenylketonuria should avoid spirulina due to its high phenylalanine content. Always consult a doctor before consuming it. As with any supplement, excessive consumption of spirulina can cause unwanted side effects. This is why it's crucial to stick to the recommended dosage. And going back to the question we asked you before, have you thought it through? 
Well, the correct answer is C. Spirulina is a food supplement generated from cyanobacteria, a bacteria capable of oxygenic photosynthesis. Well, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. As always, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Until next time.